in this video i'm going to show you how to get a usd virtual account that works everywhere and a usd bank account now in this video i'm going to expose a site called gpa gpa is good it's a fintech company that gives you the opportunity to get EO bank account great between bank account a usd bank account and also a usd virtual card which can shop anything online which can use to buy things on amazon pay for payment without unnecessary boundary now again gpay is a platform which you can use to receive payment from that your foreign clients without unnecessary fees now in this video i'm going to work with a step by step video make sure you like this video make sure you comment and make sure you share this video now let's head down on how to get down let's sign up on gp welcome of course in this our video i'm going to show you how you can create and verify your gp account but well, first of all let's learn what gp is all about gp is a company which allows you to create usd gbp that's great between pounds united states dollars euro virtual bank accounts to easily receive international payments for your work so you can get usd gbp eu virtual card that works everywhere in your country right in your location we, we are in nigeria here you can get those bank account and use it to receive international payment be you a freelancer that is having issues to receive money from your clients when doing the hard job finishing their work and you have an issue to receive money gp is there for you so right now let's head down to our sign up page once you get to gp.africa that is their website gp.africa or, or you go to google you click on create an account so it takes you to this page it tells you how will you like to use gp start your effortless journey into borderless payment let's get you started it has the, you have been given two options i'm a freelancer option or i want to create a company account free of uh, option well i have not tried this i want to create a company account option maybe someday i'm going to try it and make a video about it but i'm well, here you will choose your, your freelancer then you you are self-employed and operate under your name in nigeria or kenya of course gp is now in kenya our kenyan people can also use gp to do their to receive payment as well so you see the company is expanding more and more places in africa so we are in nigeria here so you click on continue it's, uh, we need an email address okay an email address I'm putting my email address you have to put in your email address referral code is optional so we have to so continue there's a, there's a sms that is going to, there's a code that is going to be sent to my email address we've kindly input the code okay um let me get the code Okay, let me check my spam mail if it's there okay this is the email address it went to my this is the code so it went to my spam mail so that's the code it's processing you can see and it tells me to change to create a password the password will be used to log into your account of course minimum 10 character at least okay so i've created my password so it's now taking me to the next step you see your account has been created successfully successfully so now we are home page right now is this this message that says our virtual usd mastercard is now available your initial mastercard replacement fee will be waived so you will, let's click on continue okay okay here we are going to the official dashboard of gp now it says you are almost there please complete each section below to manage your account profile this will help us offer you an improved and tailored services so this is my personal profile is not done my banking details is not done my to verify my identity is not done so let me start with this so it says my personal profile you have to put in your name your surname your date of birth okay you have to fill this these are very important thing places you uh, have to fill okay 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 nationality nine G nigerian time zone you have to choose of course we'll fall into the gmt plus one time zone though so it's optional phone number uh let me put this okay then you click on the cdg code that has been sent to my phone number right now 
let me get the number and place it code three three six zero eight nine of course the code is there heading to the next okay address okay you have to put in your address mm. Country of residence Nigeria. So we are moving Lagos. Okay. Then there is this other part proof of address, bank statement, either in JPEG, PNG, or PDF format. This is another place that people uh, will always have issues with. Uh, with this proof of address, I will advise people to always use their bank statement. I will advise them to always use their bank statement as a proof of address whenever you are doing this because your bank statement carries your real home address. So this is a sure bank, uh, this is a sure hack for you to always use your bank statement statement as a proof of address so we've uploaded our bank statement and here we go we save it and it takes us to the next step you can see my personal profile has been completed as i pass through that stage now my bank account let's head down to my bank account let me select my bank taking us to the next step you have to fill your bank details well with your bvn and it takes me to the next step. bank details are now verified successful now the third step is to verify my identity so let's get down to that one as my bank details have been verified so verify your identity this is the final step of your registration process please be prepared to submit the following government id and, and a selfie let me start my then let me okay it says choose one of the following document to confirm your identity ensure there is more than one month until it expires so i don't have an international passport right now but i have a national id card okay see the so the submission is completed right now for my id card okay and your application is now being reviewed this will take a few hours okay and yeah over here we've gotten our email which was sent to us our verification status it says hello Ida. this is to inform you that your account verification has been approved please proceed with your bank account verification so it says gp has verified me so let me go to my gp account you can see it has led me to my dashboard welcome sonny this is my usd account this is my great britain pounds account this is my euro account and this is my naira account and this is the whole dashboard you can see everything here you can see my invoice since it's a fresh new account i have no invoice i have no draft i have no pending i have no no processing payments i have nothing yet this is a fresh new account and this is for the card session so i can go and create new card right now i can place my name here Okay, I can create a virtual card here. Yeah, I can create a feature physical card as well. But let me see the virtual card. Choose a brand Mastercard. I love Mastercard. Okay. Um, let me go to wallets. Let me let's go to the wallet section. Let's see it. Okay, this is how the wallet section is. This is a fresh new account. There's nothing to do in this section. Let's go to transaction. I have no transaction yet. It's the first new account. Let me go to the settings. Let me see. Okay, this is my personal setting. Everything has been. This is my contractor type, individual, 
everything is here. This is my benefit. Let me go to beneficiary. Beneficiary is a place where you put your bank account. You can add a new bank account. As for me, I've added my bank account, which is my GT Bank. And this is the bank account you will use to do your withdrawal. That's all. So, this is the security department where you can change your password. And this is the identification. You can see my pre ID identification has been completed, email verification completed, compliance documents completed. Everything is being completed and verified. Sending money completed. I am able to send money with this account. My daily transaction limit is $1,500. Receiving fund is completed. As for the document, compliance document, like I told you, you need to use your, your bank details so that you will use it for address verification. That is what I use to be able to go through this faster. So with this, you will be able to use GPay to do your transaction instead of going to the black market, the normal aboki we call, to do your and uh, your dollar to naira transaction. With GPay, you can use it to surpass those stress. That is what GPay is here for. So and again, you are able to create it. I mean, a virtual dollar card with GPay to use for your online payment as well and if you find this video very helpful make sure you like this video make sure you comment under this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more on this as well i leave you right now